for this repair we're going to be replacing the power supply. The first thing we need to do is remove all the screws off the back of the set. So you're going to find all these screws across here and we're going to need to be removed. Now we've removed all the screws, we can go ahead and pull the lamp door off and it just slides right out. Next, before we pull it apart, we can remove the lamp. You should just have one screw at the top. And we can go ahead and just gently pull the lamp out. And you're going to want to make sure that you do this when the lamp is cool. Okay, now we've got all the screws out, we can go ahead and pull off this metal back piece and it should just slide out. And pass the power cord through and then out it comes. In order to remove this chassis, you're going to have to undo a couple of connections. There should be four connections in total. There's going to be two on the chassis, one right here and one up here, and then two on the optical block one here and then this cable right here. Once we've done that we can go ahead and remove the screw and the chassis should slide right out. So there you go, we have our four connections that we pulled out. Now the two sections are completely separated. You can go ahead and undo that screw. Now the, optical, the chassis should just slide right out. Once you pull the chassis out, you're gonna find a couple of connections on the back one connection on the back you're going to need to undo. So we have these two cables, again just kind of squeeze them, you should just pop right out. And there you go, we've removed the chassis from a Mitsubishi DLP. So when you're removing these or when you go to pull the uh, chassis out, sometimes it can be a little tough. These cables right here are actually taped down. If you need a little more room so you can pull it out, you can gently pull on this and lift the tape. That'll get you, give you enough room to get your hand back there and pull the chassis out. Okay, so we've removed the chassis, so now we can take the power supply off. First off, we want to go ahead and unplug the connections. Again, there's pinch connections. Pinch it and slide it off. Pinch and just pull it out. And the same for the last one. Push those off to the side. You can go ahead and undo the four screws. It's just Two in each corner. Okay, so now we've got all the screws and the connections loose. There's one more thing we need to do, and there's a little plastic tab right here. And if you just take a pair of pliers, you should be able to just squeeze it in, and that just lets you pop it off. Now I've got it loose, we can go ahead and put in our replacement power supply. Okay, and now we can go ahead and put our new power supply on. So again, you're just going to make sure that you line up with that plastic piece in the middle, and just push it back until it clips in. 
and we can go ahead and put our screws back on. And now we can put our connections back on. Again, these won't go into the wrong place. And we fit in one connection. And just slide each one in until it locks in place. And there we go. We've put our new power supply in and now it can go back into the TV. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and reinsert our power supply. And we're gonna have four connections that we need to hook up from the front of the TV. There's two cables. There's this one which carries the uh, LEDs and the key presses and this one which goes to the speakers. And we got a couple of connections here that go, this one goes over to the ballast and this one goes over to the actuator on the back of the uh, prism that goes up to the lens. So on the power supply itself we're going to be, this cable is going to take the actuator connection and then on the back side of this, we're going to have that connection right there, this connection right here, and also this power connection up here will be used. On the power supply itself, we have two connections we need to hook up. We have this one which gives power to the DMD board, and we have this one which is the video signal from the main going to the DMD. Okay, so first off we're going to hook up our speaker connection and it just goes right into here and just push it in until it clicks in place and then this is the keypad and LEDs and that just slides right in place and just so you know this can't go into the wrong connections the style of plugs is different and it won't let you put it in the wrong spot. Again just push it in until it clicks in and locks in. If you're having problems with these cables and you don't have enough length to get it these are usually just taped down and back and you can pull off one of the pieces of tape just to give you a little more room like we did here. So next we're going to slide this around, make sure you pull these cables out of the way. Slide the board in place. And we're going to hook up, if you can see it, this connection right here which goes to the actuator. Slot it right in. And again, it should just click in when it's done correctly. And we're also going to hook up our connector for our ballast power right onto the power supply. Once again, you should just slot right in and click in place. Last connections we need to make we have power going to the DMD. And it just connects in, clips in. And the final connection is our video connection. And on this one, you need to make sure that those, the silver like in teeth that you can see, go to the left. And there's a solid silver side, and that should be on the right. And you might need to play around with this just to kind of get it in place. And push it up. And push it until it clicks. Make sure you just push down on both sides. And it should be locked in place like that. If you don't lock it in place properly, it's possible the TV might not start correctly. And now we're just going to take our single screw here just to lock this in place. And there we go, this stops it pulling out. Okay, so next up we're going to reinstall our lamp. Let's go ahead and slide it in place. And it'll kind of click in when it makes the connection with the power cord. And go ahead and take your screwdriver and just snug that screw down to lock it in place. Okay, so we have our back. We, the first thing we need to do is take our power cord and just pass it through the hole over here. Just be careful of the edges. Sometimes they can be a little bit sharp and they can either catch you or the power cable. Neither of which is good. Once you have that done, you want to make sure that this metal piece right here 
sits on the other side of this plastic. If you don't, the back will not go on. Once you've got it on that side, go ahead and push it in place and you'll see that there's little plastic pegs that should line up in each corner. Once that's done, you can go ahead and start putting screws in. And there we go, we've put the back back on. Okay, so now we gotta put the lamp cover back on and I just realized that I actually put the screws in right here that actually hold the lamp cover in place. So I just undid those. Now we can put our lamp cover in. One of the things with the lamp cover, there's a couple of plastic tabs right here. They're gonna slide right into these holes. So you're gonna need to make sure you slide those in first. Now it allows that to go over and lock in place. We're going to take our two screws and put those in. And there we go. We have the back cover on the TV. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings.